Yes, so I, I would say a few words of about Jonathan. He's a very important person for us in the Universal Peace Center organization, the San Diego organization. Jonathan is 37 years old, actually born the same day as me, so we are exactly the same age. Uh, he is from France, now living in America, and he is freelancer with uh, making photography. And for San Diego organization, he was one of the first to com come in contact with San Diego Shankar and bringing to France for workshops. And he is very dedicated to, to the San Diego and they want to in, in work more and more for, uh, and help spreading the good things with uh, San Diego, start, uh, San Diego started especially with the, uh, I don't know the name now, but the uh, home, uh, Global Family Home University. So, exactly. Um, 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 yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah, um, Many things to share, but I condensed it into a PowerPoint presentation. Let me see. There we go. So I'll do my best to be uh, quick and concise because I can be very talkative. My name is Jonathan, and I was born the same day as Axel G. Thank you, Axel G. Ma, for creating Axel <laughs> and giving him birth with your husband. He did a beautiful job. He's very precious to our nonprofit. So thank you for amazing artists sharing your creative expression of being human on this planet. So. I have a presentation for you to uh, show you five angles of photography. Can you see my screen well? All right. Do we see the Zoom call on the side or not? I can reduce it otherwise, like that. Is it better like that? Yeah, I don't know what you mean. Maybe someone else can help. Uh, that's that's okay. Uh, the Zoom call, actually, I wanted to make sure it's uh, not showing in the center because I see your pictures. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I see you to the right. So I think it, you are small and the picture to the left is big, so that's okay. Yeah. It's good? Yeah. Okay. As, as Swamiji says, it's good. All right. So five angles to find peace with photography, because today we have a great opportunity, my dear brothers and sisters from all around the world, to have deeper understanding of what is peace and how we can achieve peace in our life. So, so through my business, through my job as a uh, photographer, I have been thinking a lot about what can we do to witness, observe, understand life and peace in our life. So I divided the presentation into five parts. The first part is nature. And uh, we often had that conversation with Swamiji Sanyogi Mashankar about photography and about nature. What is nature? And is urban environment like the city, the skylines and the skyscrapers, are they part of mother nature? Because we see landscape photography as being nature only in general, but he insisted to say that everything is nature. Everything is part of mother nature. And whether it is the plant kingdom, the insect beings, the animals, 
like human beings. Everything is nature. So when you see a building, or when you see the Grand Canyon, it took millions of years to create. Or when you see an amazing temple in Kolkata, uh, that some of you may know from Kolkata was Mangala, where Ram Krishna got enlightened, the Dakshineswar Kali temple by the Ganges River. The bricks, the metal, the iron, the all the particles we create are also nature. So Mother Nature is not only trees and plants. It is also bridges that humans built and buildings so we can live somewhere. <laughs> so this is nature. So Amiji loves the Eiffel Tower, and I was born in France. So I had to include that, right? <laughs> it's the silhouette. Sunset. Romantic. Part two is event. So we have many events in life. So as a photographer, we observe, witness, and capture the essence of life through all of the different e events that we are blessed to witness for our family, for our clients, or for donation work. So my my conclusion uh, with some uh, thinking I've had, because I've been driving a lot this week, been thinking a lot is actually one way of seeing photography is to celebrate life. Business events, concerts, sports events, performances, the event world, my friends. Whether there are 5,000 people or one person, whether it's business, corporate, art, or native tribes like here, with native tribe dance in the heart of Minneapolis, Events represent the uh, human activity on the planet, and we are here to document them, share our human experience. Graduation here in America is a very popular event, very important in the life of teenagers turning into adults, starting their life, and uh, will come to society later. But part two, event with music and performances too. Bushido. Bushido training in a martial arts academy where I worked uh, during uh, the COVID outbreak. So everywhere we are, we learn. Events are everywhere. So part three, after nature events, part three is family. So from pregnancy, so before birth, to birth, newborn, baby, birthday. So Amiji always says, happy be Earth Day. We are on this planet with the gift of life. So be Earth Day on Mother Earth. Graduation, senior wedding, funerals too. Yeah, I've even taken pictures of funerals too, as it's part of life cycle. So my question is, what does family mean? Who is our family? Our family, you know, the selfish uh, one. Uh, we have one unit, like one house, or the universal family, or is family both? So when I take pictures for my clients, I've realized that I become one with their family. Like when I take pictures for their wedding, for instance, like they assimilate me as their family, which proves that we are one universal family. Here's an example. And I included a dog too for Christmas because people consider them as their family members too. A wedding. Before the baby was born. Father with his children. 
a child talking to her mother. Her name is Gloria. Senior portrait here. Senior is the last year of high school here in the US. Brother and sister. The beautiful nature in the background. Family tree with several generations here. So you see, it's not even my family, but I'm part of their family when I take pictures for them. Three generations here. Grandma, mother, and child. Winter time. Family outside. Not scared. <laughs> Enjoying the, the weather. So it's not photoshopped. It's, it's real winter here. Minus uh, 30 degrees sometimes. Wedding on a boat. All right. Business time. Part four. So headshots, it's portraits for business purpose. Commercial photography, fashion, lifestyle, products, real estate, architecture, and many more that are used for business, for advertising. So here are some examples. It's Tiffany here. Great friend of mine here. Headshots. We had a headshot. Uh, festival here one time and we had many people coming to have their business headshot to update their picture for LinkedIn, Facebook, their business cards to communicate for their clients. Fashion behind the scenes or BTS <laughs> for short. American people love acronyms. African American culture in the modern city here so fashion lifestyle big business too so here performance they're not performing here but then in pictures for the business too my dear friend james who was my first friend and first client in the us the half Native American from the Ojibwe Oneida tribe, amazing singer and guitar player. He passed away age 55 after completing his mission on the planet. Very great soul. A martial arts and parkour practitioner. Happy, celebrating life, you see. Pack shot for design objects in a studio shot in Paris and this is a authentic uh, crystal skull that uh, crystal skull guardian gave me for the photo shoot only his name is Mikai it's pink quartz real estate photography so you see that business is very wide and uh, I included an inside joke here because you saw that picture here earlier in the nature section. Real estate photography, mosaic. Pictures, those pictures are used to sell homes, basically. So people can acquire a home or move from a home to another. Very popular in the US too. Here, part five, my favorite one. I left the best for the end, my friends. And you noticed I divided things into five, like the five elements, right? Earth, water, air, fire, space to create and sustain our life. And what is the most important is what do we do for society? We were born on this planet. The question is, why here? Why with these parents? And I have the gift of life and I have Developed talents thanks to the unconditional love from my mother and father, who 
what am I doing with these gifts today as seva, which in Sanskrit means selfless work. So we are building the Vasudaiva Kutumbakambaha Vishwavidyalaya, which is the global family home mega university. It's where we are going to be able to have a blueprint to help nurture, protect humanity and society. So what is society? How can we be useful for humanity? So photographically speaking, we would call that like uh, social work or nonprofit work, photography, documentary style. But I just see that as seva, which is simpler. Selfless work. So this is Swamiji here, and I know that we have some people here in the audience from the Malaysian family, so you will know where it was shot, <laughs> which city, which beach. Many people came from the Malaysian family. We have branches everywhere. And I took that picture from Swamiji because it's one of his favorite pictures from meditation practice. So we have educational workshops everywhere around the world. Just let us know. Get our check our websites and you get that info. We'd be happy to help. I think it's a 13-year-old student here. So I took that picture from Swamiji too, that he had as a gift from the university where we had uh, 1,800 students, so 1,800 students here. So far, I think that's the biggest group we've had in one location at one time. This is in Gatal. So, special dédicace, comme on dit en français. This is a, a wink and a blessing I wanted to share with you from West Bengal. Society, we're going from one place to another, and this is symbolic here. We have those bridges. We can cross rivers and overcome challenges. So you will probably, if people here in the audience know Bengla language, you probably be able to read street photography in Gatal, West Bengal. The social work we do with the nonprofit organization, the Universal Peace Center, which is. Uh, building a bridge with all the other nonprofits in the world. What we learn, we can apply as a blueprint for the benefit of society. So our goal is to create a self-dependent, sustainable, global family home university. So you see here, uh, I implemented some graphic design because uh, I was asking Swamiji, what did the uh, scene look like when he met Mahavatar Babaji in the Himalaya mountains from 2007 to 2009, if I remember well, because uh, Babaji came to him two times. And so I wanted to have a representation of that. And Swamiji said it, it looked like it. There was more snow, he said, but <laughs> it's, it's, he explained to me it's, it, it was, it's very similar to how it happened in a ball of light. So in France, uh, the workshop where I experienced Samadhi experience uh, in 2013 was with a very diverse, very nice group. And uh, that means uh, I was born in 1994 with my parents, but Samadhi experience was 2013. So that means I'm going to turn nine years old and I'm going to celebrate my child birthday, my Samadhi birthday in the end of August 2000, in the end of August this year. I'll be nine years old. And at uh, that time, we had our youngest Samadhi um, practitioner here, Aisha, who was 13 years old and she reached Samadhi too. So uh, social work also includes uh, indoor classes. And uh, here it's acupressure class and understanding of how the brain functions. 
have a sanyoga every day at the ashram. So everyone is welcome to join. Whether Swamiji is here or not, there is always a qualified uh, practitioner and teacher present to help guide, nurture. Have Smitama and Ravi who can answer questions if you want to. And, uh, this is Agnihotra in the morning, very important uh, worship ceremony. So I wanted to show that the future is in our hands. So for the next pictures, you will see hands only. Here with uh, Agnihotra, we have uh, acupressure here. Rice cultivation. Cooking, very important. Taking care of the rice, you see it includes physical work. Taking care of the farm, cultivation, farmland, the animals as an ecosystem with us in harmony and peace. Go Mataki Jai. Arat Mataki Jai. So the future is in our hands. It's in the hands of humanity. It is our choice what we choose. Do we choose chaos or do we choose peace? That is our biggest question. We have a very nice group everywhere in the world, people passionate about self-realization, improving their life, helping others. Two minutes. Okay, I'm almost done, it's perfect. Thank you, Axel. So a very nice symbol here. And you can tell I'm passionate about social work because this section is way bigger than the others. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't, I didn't say it, <laughs> you, you did not notice. So I have mother, father and child here giving pranam, giving thanks to the divine nature, divine son. So Amiji is not here, so I wanted to have a special message from him. So whether we are alive or passed away, our, our soul is still here. So we can still communicate with our parents, grandparents, ancestors. Well, they are alive or passed away. That's how we can use meditation too. The original hut of the Universal Peace Center in 2013 when it was half built and now it's completed. And uh, I, I took that picture uh, for uh, showing the Arkantik <laughs> Yanji. So. And that's a divine mother from Swamiji, the mother who gave life to Swamiji Mashankar. And uh, we also have HRM, Hirara Tanmanek on the right. So some history. Swamiji is in a remote location. This picture is from a long time ago, so it's not a picture from this year, but just want to share his pictures and his vision of photography too. Special message from Swamiji. Open the windows to the heart and soul, my dear brothers and sisters. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. And thanks to Jonathan, we got so many good pictures we can use for website, our books. So help, very helpful to show what we're doing and spreading the message. Thank you, Jonathan. I've been very uh, blessed. My parents are here inside the conference. So thank you, merci maman, merci papa de m'avoir donné la vie. And uh, if you have any questions and if you want to be my friend, I will be your friend forever. Just add me on Facebook, uh, take my phone number, put it in WhatsApp, take my website, I will post it in the comment section. And I'm uh, very happy, very grateful to be with you today. So my message is love and conditional love that's all thank you thank you Jonathan.